I look at John chapter 12, John chapter 12 and verse 31. John 12 verse 31. These are the words of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. Now is the judgment of this world. Now shall the prince of this world, many in the devil, be cast out. And I, if I be lifted up from the earth, will draw all men unto me. This he said, signifying what death he should die. We know he had to be crucified. Crucified upon the cross for you and for me. He laid down his life for you and for me. He said, no man taketh my life from me, I lay it down to myself. I have power to lay it down and I have power to take it up again. This commandment have I received of my Father. And so we need to understand that the Lord Jesus Christ voluntarily laid down his life for you and for me because of our sin. You and I have sinned against God. But there is no difference. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. It means we don't measure up to God's perfect standard. None of us do. Only the Lord Jesus Christ is the only one. He's the perfect Son of God, the perfect man that walked the face of the earth. He's the one that can be your Saviour, my friend. And He wants to be your Saviour this other. Will you come to Christ? Will you put your faith alone in Him? The one whom to know is life eternal. As He said, and I, if I be lifted up from the earth, will draw all men unto me. This he said, signifying what death he should die. We know he was crucified upon the cross. Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. And he was buried. But praise God, the third day he rose again according to the scriptures. He's a living, loving saviour, my friend. He wants to save your soul. You have a soul that needs to be saved. If that soul is not saved, the moment you die, your spirit and soul leave your body and you'll go down to hell. God does not want you to go down to hell. He wants you in heaven. And this is why he sent the Lord Jesus Christ to be our saviour upon the cross. The people answered him, We have heard out of the law that Christ abideth forever. And how sayest thou, The Son of Man must be lifted up? Who is this Son of Man? Then Jesus said unto them, Yet a little while is the light with you. Walk while ye have the light, lest darkness come upon you. For he that walketh in darkness knoweth not whither he goeth. In other words, don't, doesn't know where he's going. While ye have light, believe in the light, that ye may be the children of light. These things spake Jesus, and departed, and did hide himself from them. But, though he had done so many miracles before them, yet they believed not on him. I wonder, are you prepared to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and become a child of God, be born again into God's family through faith, in the Lord Jesus Christ. There's no need to go down to hell, my friend. You can be in heaven through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. You prepare to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and become a child of God through faith alone in him. If you do not believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you die in that condition, you'll be in hell. God does not want you to go down to hell. He wants you to be in heaven. But the only way you can be in heaven is if you put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. Yes, says here, that though they, he had done so many miracles before them, yet they believed not on him. But the saying of the Isaiah the prophet might be fulfilled, which he spake, Lord, who hath believed our report, and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Therefore they could not believe, because that Isaiah said again, 
who have blinded their eyes and hardened their heart, that they should not see with their eyes nor understand with their heart and be converted, and I should heal them. You see, we need healing for our sins, as it were. We need forgiveness for our sins. And the only way is through the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God. He's able to save your soul, my friend. He's able to forgive you of all of your sins, no matter what you've done. Your sins can be totally blotted out in the sight of God. If you put your faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. These things said Isaiah when he saw his glory and spake of him. Nevertheless, among the chief rulers uh, also many believed on him, but because of the Pharisees they did not confess him, lest they should be put out of the synagogue. For they loved the praise of men more than the praise of God. Jesus cried and said, He that believeth on me, believeth not on me, but on him that sent me. And he that seeth me, seeth him that sent me. I am come a light into the world, that whosoever believeth on me should not abide in darkness. That just proves the fact that we're in darkness. The moment we're born in this world, we are in darkness. We're children of the devil as far as God is concerned, spiritually speaking. We are dead spiritually. We're blind spiritually. And this is why we need the light of life found alone in the person of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. He died on the cross that you and I could be saved. And if any man hear my words and believe not, I judge him not, for I came not to judge the world, but to save the world. That's what God wants for you to say, my friend. He wants to save your soul. You have a soul that needs to be saved. Without that salvation, we're heading down to hell by default, my friend. God does not want that for you. God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Again, what is repentance? It's a change of mind. Simply come to God, agree with Him, yes, I realize that I am a sinner. And then put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and your soul will be saved. That's what God wants. He wants to save your soul. You need forgiveness for your sins. If you do not receive forgiveness, you'll end up dying and going down to hell. God does not want you to go down to hell, my friend. He wants you to be in heaven, but the only way you can be there is if you put your faith in the Son of God, our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for you and for me. Christ died for our sins, according to the Scriptures, and He was buried. But praise God, the third day He rose again, according to the Scriptures. He's a living, loving Saviour, my friend. He wants to save your soul from a long lost eternity. There's no need to go down to hell. You can be in heaven the moment you die by putting your faith in Jesus Christ as your Savior. Now you must understand, He's either going to be your Savior or He's going to be your judge. What will it be for you? It all depends what you do with the Lord Jesus Christ as to where you'll be throughout all eternity. As we often say as gospel preachers, eternity is a long time to be wrong. You know, we only get one shot at this life. We'd better get it right. We've got to come to faith in Christ. You've got to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Your soul needs to be saved. You have sins that need to be forgiven. And the only way those sins can be forgiven is if you put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the one who loved us unto death, but even the death of the cross. Yes, if any man hear my words and believe not, I judge him not. For I came not to judge the world, but to save the world. 
God wants to save your soul, this other my friend, as you listen to this message. You need to get right with God. You need to receive forgiveness for your sins through faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. He that rejecteth me and receiveth not my words, hath one that judgeth him the word that I have spoken. The same shall judge him in the last day. For I have not spoken of myself, but the Father which sent me, he gave me a commandment what I should say and what I should speak. And I know that his commandment is life everlasting. I wonder, do you have life everlasting? That life everlasting can only come from faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, my friend. Whatsoever I speak therefore, even as the Father said unto me, so I speak. Here we have the perfect servant of the Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ. He could say, I do always those things that please the Father. There's no one like the Lord Jesus Christ, no one can compare unto him. We're all in contrast to the Lord Jesus Christ, my friend. He stands head and shoulders above everyone else. He's the King of kings and Lord of lords. Every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Why not bow now, my friend? Why not come to faith in Christ? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Salvation can be yours, absolutely free of charge, by putting your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. You can be saved by the grace of God, through faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. The one who was crucified upon the cross can be your Saviour, this other. Will you come to Christ in all your sin, in all your need? Realize you cannot save yourself. Any amount of good works will never, ever get us to heaven, my friend. I mean, it's great to live a good life. There's no problem with that. But never, ever think that you can get to heaven by doing good works. It will never work. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that none of yourselves is the gift of God. That is, salvation is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. We could get to heaven by doing good works, we'd be boasting about it. There's no way we can do that. We've got to receive forgiveness for our sins through faith alone, in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, who loved us unto death, even the death of the cross. Yes, he was crucified for you and for me. You and I deserve hell and the lake of fire for eternity, and yet God has made the provision for your salvation, my friend, that you would put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and receive forgiveness for your sins, through faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Yes, as I said earlier in the message, the Lord Jesus Christ will either be your Saviour or he'll be your judge. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God, and the books were opened, and the book of life was opened, and his service name was not found written in the book of life, was cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. But there's no need to stand before the Lord Jesus Christ as your judge. You can have him as your saviour. And that's why we come here. As gospel preachers, we're concerned about your soul. Your soul that needs to be saved. You need forgiveness for your sins so that you can enter into heaven, my friend. You cannot be in heaven apart from faith in Christ. Without that faith in Christ, you'll never be in heaven. There's no way that we can get to heaven 
apart from the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, when he loved us unto death, even the death of the cross, that cruel Roman cross that he was hung upon, he was suspended between heaven and earth, paying the price for your sin and mine in his own precious blood, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. So if you come in repentance toward God, as I've said, that's a change of mind, simply agree with God that you are a sinner and you put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, God promises you everlasting life. Question was asked a long time ago, what must I do to be saved? The answer was believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. That can be yours, this other. You come to Christ. If you believe upon him, if you put your faith in him, if you receive him, you see, he came unto his own and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave him power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Yes, there's life for look at the crucified one, there's life at this moment for thee. Then look, sinner, look unto him who is nailed to the tree. In whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching. I appreciate that. If you're interested in this, look me up. YouTube.com forward slash peace by Jesus Christ. Remember, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. God bless you. Have a great night.